In the previous proposition, we proved that if we begin with an isosceles triangle, that is a triangle in which two sides are equal, then the subtended angles must be the same. In proposition 6, we're going to prove the converse. That is, if we begin with a triangle in which two angles are the same, then the opposite sides must therefore be the same, and the triangle must be isosceles. So let's check out the text. If in a triangle two angles be equal to one another, the sides which subtend the equal angles will also be equal to one another. Let ABC be a triangle having the angle ABC equal to the angle ACB, so those two are the same. The claim is, I say that the side AB is also equal to the side AC. So that's our claim. We aim to demonstrate that. Now, what does Euclid do in this, in this proposition? He doesn't directly demonstrate it. What he does is he assumes the opposite. He assumes a negation. For if AB is unequal to AC, he's going to assume that this left-hand side is going to be unequal to AC. One of them is greater. And he says, let AB be the greater side. If that's the case, from AB the greater, let DB be cut off equal to AC the less. So remember, we're supposing that AC is going to be less than AB. So if that's the case, what we're going to do is cut off from AB D to B, which is going to be equal to AC. And then let DC be joined. So let's draw that in. And recall what's going on here. DB is going to be equal to AC. That's what we can do under the supposition that AB is greater than AC. And recall we can do this from proposition 3 by construction. Let's see what also follows from this. Then, since DB, this is DB right here, is equal to AC, and BC is common. Let's highlight the common side. The two sides DB and BC are equal to the two sides AC and CB respectively. That is, DB is equal to AC from that construction through Proposition 3, and BC BC is right here, is equal to CB, which is of course true. And the angle DBC, so D to B to C, that's one of the two given angles, is equal to the angle ACB, ACB. Now we're going to infer the equality of two triangles. So let me draw out the two triangles that we're going to conclude are the same. We're going to conclude that D to B to C is going to be equal to the triangle A to B to C. And why are we doing this? Well, if we focus on the blue triangle, notice it has that side DB equal to AC. These two triangles share that. They share the common side BC. and they both share an angle in between those sides, DBC for the blue triangle and ACB for the red triangle. So we can use the side angle side theorem or proposition four to infer that these two triangles are the same. Hence, the triangle DBC, which is less, is equal to the greater ABC, which Euclid says is absurd. This contradicts common notion number five, which says that the whole is greater than the part. And our conclusion, since our supposition led to an absurdity, therefore, AB is not unequal to AC. And therefore, AB is equal to AC, and the triangle in question is isosceles, which is what we aimed to demonstrate. As you can see, a much easier proposition than the previous one, but this one demonstrates a very important proof technique, namely the proof by contradiction. Notice we didn't directly demonstrate that AB is equal to AC, 
what we did is we assumed the negation, namely that AB is unequal to AC, and we demonstrated that this leads to the absurd conclusion that we have this triangle DBC being less than ABC, but it's also equal to ABC. If this triangle DBC is less than ABC, then it cannot be equal to ABC. And yet it is equal to ABC, which is the contradiction. Therefore, we have to conclude that AB is equal to AC because its negation entails an absurdity.